everyone, I want to uh, thank you guys for joining today. Um, this is a uh, webinar from MSCRMaddons.com. Uh, my name is Clinton Higley, and today what we're going to be covering is just kind of a, a, a new feature that we have um, uh, for a couple of our tools. Um, it's called Advanced Emails and Notes uh, for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Um, just before we kind of get started, just a few things for those of you who have never been here before. Um, there is a chat in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Um, you can use it at any time uh, to ask any kind of questions uh, during the webinar. Uh, I have some team members in the chat uh, who can answer any of those questions on the fly. So uh, feel free to use it. Uh, the other thing is that we do record all these webinars. Um, and uh, we'll provide you a link to the video and um, also a link to the slides that we're going to be using today. Um, so you can get those and reference it again. And uh, we'll watch this, uh, watch this webinar again and kind of go over it again if you need to. Um, so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, these emails and notes in CRM. And so basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to simplify activity handling of notes inside of Dynamics 365. Okay. Um, Basically for us, uh, one of the main points, um, that one of the things that we try to do with all our add-ons um, is to set it up so that you can work um, inside of uh, CRM without having to use kind of any external tools. Um, you know, there's a, there's a few things that it works really well for and a, and a few things that it don't. And we try to, uh, to fit these in. And this is, this is one of those things. So why would you really reuse this thing? Basically what it does is it's going to help you um, reduce clicks when handling attachments and notes. Um, also it giving you the ability to, uh, to make sort of rich emails, um, which is a feature that's lacking in, in Dynamics 365 right now. Um, some of the features, the notes and attachments features, um, it allows you quick access via a direct link. Um, uh, basically uh, you're able to click on it and download the, the attachment quite quickly. We'll show that here in the demo. Um, drag and drop, so you're able just to take a file and just drag it on and drop it in there and then it uploads it to CRM. Um, uh, you have the ability to do bulk deletes and uploads with this as well. Um, and avoid uh, you know, problems with the URL extension. So like for example, if you use an attachment extractor, um, this helps it to, you know, it's basically going to open this, uh, uh, the file directly from, uh, from CRM. So if you've used, it, used an attachment extractor, you kind of know what I'm talking about there. Um, if you haven't, I suggest you kind of check it out. Um, the email features, um, basically what we've added is kind of a, uh, uh, just a rich email editor into there. Um, and I'll highlight some of the features in that um, once we kind of go into the demo. Um, so advanced notes and emails, just some general information to, uh, about it. Um, it's really easy to deploy. It's just a solution import. Um, and then you're basically going to embed a, uh, a web resource. So a uh, web resource is listed above. Um, it's also covered in the documentation on a blog article. Um, you can see we can download solutions, uh, you know, just a few guides there on the side. Um, so basically, once you embed this on a form, if you embed this on the email form, it's going to act on attachments. So basically, anything that you use it to, like to any attachments that you drag and drop onto it, they're, they're going to be attached to this email. Um, and if you embed it on an entity form, um, it's going to act on your notes. So anything you drop on there, um, it's going to, uh, you know, be attached into the annotation uh, section, so on your notes there. Um, availability for this, uh, it's available for Dynamics uh, 2016 online and on-premise. Um, it's also available for naturally Dynamics 365 online and on-premise. And uh, some of the places where you probably use this would be like say for example like your sales, um, your customer service, you know, field services, and uh, you know, your project service automation areas. Um, the pricing on this, um, it's, you know, if you're already a user of activity tools or attachment extractor, um, it's free for you. Um, it's just a little uh, update. You can choose to use it or not. Um, so you can just kind of download the solution. If you've already got one of these tools installed, um, you can go ahead and install it and play around with it. Um, and then, you know, on request for non-attachment extractor and activity tools users. So you can actually request this from us. Um, if, you, if you like the features and everything like that it provides, 
um, but are not using activity tools or attachment extractor, um, we can uh, we can get you a quote on getting this in and getting this set up um, into your system. Um, so that basically covers all my slides here. Um, just kind of want to go into the demo system and um, kind of show you a little bit about kind of how this works. Um, so kind of in this scenario here, you know, if I'm working in CRM, I've been given this new account, AdventureWorks, which we all know and love. Um, let's say here I've got uh, the, the contact here, Adrian here, and I'm writing up an email to him. Um, you know, inside of CRM, if I open this email up, um, inside of CRM here, uh, you're very limited to uh, kind of what you can do with this. Uh, you have, you know, standard copy paste and everything like that. Just a few, you know, limited things here that you can do. Um, so again, like I said, I've got this email, and it, it's, it doesn't, it never looks really good. Um, so what we have here uh, is our is our email tool, the advanced email tool here. So I can open that up, and uh, I've got. Uh, uh, a lot of availability here for our, for a lot of different features. Uh, number one is uh, have a lot of different um, fonts and things like that that I can use. Uh, you know, just the standard stuff, the styling, you know, the the underline, italicized, all this kind of stuff. Uh, just just the standard stuff that I have, but it's it's just a lot more open. Again, changing the font size, you can actually now change the points. On the font again. So if I, you know, just needed to wanted to make my name here a little bit bigger um, in my signature, I could let's make it really big, make it 18. There we go. Um, again, a few of the other things that we have in here is you can actually now add links. So I can actually come up here and add a link, and just this is a, just a simple mail to. All right, and then I can just insert that link. And there we go. So now, um, as I send this email, uh, it's going to be uh, my signature here. If they click on this, it'll open up the email, and they can actually uh, email me back. Again, same thing uh, with the websites here. You know, it's pretty simple and easy to do um, to get all this kind of stuff going. Uh, one other thing that I think is uh, really nice about this is we have the ability now also to um, insert pictures. So I can come right on over. Say I want to insert the our company logo here. Got that right here. I just pick a picture off my, uh, you know, that I have. Um, I kind of click through that real quick. Let me just open that back up for you. It can also be a uh, image URL, so you can use a URL uh, from from the internet if you have a link to it. Um, so a pretty handy little feature. Um, again, you have uh, different uh, uh, little things that you can do here. Uh, with the picture itself, also remove the image, whatever, resize it, however you want to. Um, so it's really nice. So let's uh, we can actually let's shrink this down so it's not so big. There we go. So there you go. So you got that. Um, again, here you can see here that I'm actually emailing uh, Adrian because uh, that's I'm interested in some of our products here. Uh, so there's a couple things that I have to attach here, the support terms and uh, license agreement for, for the review. And uh, I'm also trying to spell out here and trying to find a nice way to put in some pricing here. But you know, this is actually this actually doesn't look real good. What would look a lot better would be like say for example a table. So um, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of uh, niceness here. So let's see here. Let me just add in a table in here that I can work with. So I can set up this uh, this table however I want to. Um, you know, just set it up. This is just kind of like in Word. Um, again, so I can grab a table here. So let's call this one. We'll say this is a uh, let's see Documents Corp back. Let's see, we can take this in here and add this. Oops. Let's see. Bear with me here. Terrible. This is why I'm a support guy and not uh, someone who types up these emails. Oh. Yeah, and then let's see, we can have here in this first item be for on premise. So I'll just shorten that up 
time restraints. And then let's see here. We got here and online. And let's see here. So we have here uh, pricing and And support pricing. There we go. So um, here again, you know, I can just keep on typing in here. You know, however much this is. You know, and just make a nice readable email that's uh, got a nice table involved in it. Uh, let's see. I can continue. I'll we'll just I can paste that in. There we go. And again, because I'm not a sales guy, do I know this pricing off the top of my head? I'll just have to use my cheat sheet. You know? so, so I'm just kind of typing that in real quick just to kind of, just kind of move these things along. Again, so, so I have a, a, just a nice generated email in here with a nice table in it. There's something that I just can't do in there um, inside of the standard CRM. Again, you know, I can break things up here, um, adding different kind of features like horizontal rules. Uh, so you can actually add things in. Uh, another nice thing that you can do is uh, you can show a coded view. So you can actually look at the code itself. Uh, let me just flip back here. Uh, this, yeah, woo. Here we go. So you can actually do like some HTML, things like that. Um, that's for more of the hardcore users. Um, again, you have naturally your ability to use your lists, uh, the unordered or ordered lists, and uh, your paragraphs along with um, your different like indentions and, and your justifications and things of that nature. Um, again, uh, one of the other things that I think is really important, let's say, um, is colors. Uh, you can actually change colors here. So you have a lot more different colors to kind of choose from. Let's say that I like the, uh, I want my name to be uh, like a deep orange. This is going to look terrible, but there you go. Uh, so you have the ability to just kind of just add all these kind of rich features and everything like that to this, um, to this document. Uh, I mean, to this email um, that you couldn't actually do um, with uh, your standard CRM. So once I'm done um, putting this up, um, I click the submit, and there we go. Um, I've got that in there now. Naturally, you know. The table is not going to show up because it, it's not supported here by this particular view. Um, but when I send the email, they'll get the tables and everything and all these little edits and everything like that that I made. Some of them do show, but others don't. Um, that's basically uh, it for that, uh, that email, the email editor. Um, you can see it's a, it's a pretty interesting little thing. So now one thing that I do need to do is attach um, uh, support terms in this licensing software agreement. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and attach these files. Uh, I can do this by clicking on the file itself. So I'll say open, I'll open this, and it'll attach. Okay. Um, then again, uh, this is kind of off screen, so hang on a second here. Let me just do this, uh, get rid of that, and just so you can kind of see, I'll just move these over so you can actually see what I'm doing. So here I've got these support terms and conditions here that I want to attach. I can just drag it over and drop it and it attaches it right away. Um, one of the nice things about this um, that you're going to see uh, here, so let me just save this real quick. Um, so the standard attachments and everything like that, when I want to open them, um, I click it, as you all well know, you know it kind of opens up another window, and then I have to click this and download it, or um, sometimes it will say, you know, do you really want to open it? The one nice thing with this is once you have this in here, uh, you can get rid of this altogether because here, you know, you can just want to download this. I just click it. Um, it, it immediately downloads it. Um, you know, no need for that second window um, in SO, and no need to, uh, to basically have this here. So you can actually replace this with this. Um, so you have that on your email form. So it's a really handy thing. Um, so let me just go ahead. I'll save and close this. So um, one of the things here is, um, you know, as I was talking to uh, Adrian, he sent me a few things, a couple of notes here that I have, um, some things that I need to attach um, as notes to uh, to his uh, uh, to the account here. So let me just move this right. So you can see down here, in my notes have got nothing in here. Um, so I have here this uh, this note section here. I'm calling it quick notes. You can call it whatever you want to. 
but what I want to do, um, I can naturally just grab it and drag it down just one at a time or use the file thing. Um, but here, you know, for example, let's say I just grab them all, take them down, and drop them, and it adds them you know, all one time. If I refresh my net section, <coughs> excuse me, they're all in there. Everything's in. Let's uh, grab that. So um, let's see here. You know, it, it just basically supports anything that you want to add. You see, I've got a couple of PDFs, you know, a Word document, text file, even a, a, a video. Um, let's say, for example, uh, you know, when I when I put this up here, you know, there's a, there's a few things that if I want to like delete them out, I can actually, um, you know, I can select it and delete single ones by using the little trash can here. Um, but let's say, for example, since I've already sent him, the, I, since I've already sent him the uh, let's see, the support terms and conditions, and let's see, our licensing agreement. Those are two things that I don't want in there. Uh, what I'm able to do is I'm able to just select them both. I uh, click the trash can, and it tells me you know, I'm deleting the two attachments. I say OK, and deletes them both out. Um, so you're able to go in and delete things a lot quicker than having to go through and click these lovely little Xs. Um, again, the one nice thing here is that I have the one-click download. Um, so for example, if I, you know, I download just with one click here straight from there, or you know, again, here as well. Uh, one click download is really handy. Um, and so you know these tools are basically going to help you um, be able to maneuver around your CRM system and throw things in there and and do things that you need to do. Um, you know and it could be um, kind of one of those things that you know in a combination with activity tools um, can somewhat be a replacement for Outlook. Um, this is one of the things that we're you know going to continue developing on, so they'll be adding new features and things like that. Um, so it's definitely something um, uh, to, to kind of take a look at. Um, so um, I know this webinar is a little shorter than most of them. Um, just kind of wanted to um, let's see here. This is going to be. I had to move a few things around. So let me just move this up to here. Um, a little bit short. Um, so we're going to have a time for a lot of questions if you have any. Um, one thing though, before we uh, kind of uh, Start answering those questions. Of course, you know you can find us on the web at uh, uh, www.mscrm-addons.com. Um, on our website, you know we have the link to the support. Uh, you can get us via live chat or our support email at it's uh, support at mscrm-addons.com. And uh, our blog is um, <coughs> blogs at uh, blogs.mscrm-addons.com. There's also a link to it um, on the website as well. If you click on Hover on Support, and the drop-down is the first one of the drop-down. Um, it's really awesome. It's getting better um, all the time, and uh, you know we're releasing new articles on there constantly. So I'm going to suggest you give it a look, or you know get, point your RSS feeds towards it, um, so you can kind of see kind of what's going on, new features, and you know just little helpful tips and things like that that we have on there. Um, Again, they're below our contact numbers. And uh, if you have any technical questions or about any of our products or anything um, related to, uh, you know, the tool or you know how to install it or what have you, um, you can reach us at support at mscrm addonscom um, If you have any questions about pricing, sales, or anything sales related, uh, office at mscrm addonscom Or um, if you're uh, North America, it's uh, U.S. Sales at mscrm addonscom And for the rest of the world, it's just sales at mscrm addonscom um, So I'm going to leave this up for you. Um, in fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it back uh, to the other page here real quick um, so you can actually kind of see these, uh, these links here. So, and again, uh, open it up here for questions. And uh, and see if I can get any of those answered for you. So. Uh.